Hi everybody, I am your Prasad. This is exam time. So today's our topic is 0 by 1 knapsack problem. We have exams around the corner. So prepare very well. Today's our topic is 0 by 1 knapsack problem. This is the topic from dynamic programming from the subject the design and analysis of algorithm. Design and analysis of algorithm. Designing algorithm and doing analysis of algorithm. When you design a software, before that we will write some algorithms. Then we will type programs in C, C++, Java or Python. Dynamic programming tells about sequence of decisions, right? Before that we already discussed a knapsack problem. That is just a knapsack problem. I will provide it in my card or in my description box. All the video links, playlist also I will provide the subject. 0 by 1 means 0. You can take full objects 1 means full objects or 0. None of them you should take. Before that knapsack problem means you can take fraction. Fraction of the objects like vegetables. You can take fractions, partitions. Whereas here you can take the complete objects in the bag or you cannot take any bag, any object. Knapsack here <coughs> this K Actually, this C, but you can imagine this K, both are silent. You can pronounce like knapsack. This means a bag. Rock climbers and military people carry a bag. Knapsack means bag, bag problem. Here, we have a bag capacity. <coughs> For example, in this scenario, we have 6 kgs weight of the bag, mass. That is a capacity. So, we need to fill the bag such a way that we need to get more profit. That is a dynamic problem maximization problem more profit right here example in this scenario i have taken example from the textbook number of object we have three objects we have n1 n2 n3 three objects we have <coughs> and profit of each object each object n1 object profit is one n2 object profit is two n3 object profit is five for example imagine rupees in indian currency or dollars in any other currency rupees 1 rupee 2 rupees 5 rupees profit weight of each object w <coughs> n1 object weight 2 kgs n2 object weight 3 kgs n3 object weight 4 kgs these are three objects in this scenario i have taken example right x is either 0 or 1 x you can fill the bag complete objects complete cages or when the bag is filled you should not take any of the object. Zero means you should not take any object, any of these three, or you can take full cages of the objects. We have to take total objects or we should not take any, any one. So capacity of, of the bag in this example, six cages. Bag capacity mass is six cages. Total objects are three. N1, N2, N3. These are three. Each x is 0 or 1 so means 2 probabilities we have total 2 power 3 8 probabilities we will get after seeing this box you will come to know here objects n1 n2 n3 same drawn here profits 1 rupees 2 rupees 3 rupees, 5 rupees n1 first object profit is 1 rupee second object profit is 2 rupees Third object profit is 5 rupees. Weights. First object weight is 2 kgs. Second object weight is 3 kgs. Third object weight is 4 kgs. Here, if you have not taken anything, anything in the bag, total prob probabilities I have drawn. You have not taken any objects in this bag. So obviously, the bag weight is 0 and the profit you will get 0. If you have taken 0, 0, 1, this column you have taken means the weight of the bag is 4 kgs and the profit is 5 rupees. The bag filled 4 kgs of the mass capacity and when you sell that you will get 5 rupees. 4 kgs, 5 rupees. Here 5 rupees profit you will get. 0, 1, 0 means this column you have taken in the bag. So 2 rupees profit we will get and three kgs here for example you have taken this three kgs of bag is filled and we'll get 
टू रूपीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हेकन दिस सीनारियो थर्ड सीनारियो जीरो वन जीरो मीन्स दिस वन टू एंड थ्री राइट यू हैव टेकन जीरो जीरो वन मीन्स दिस वन फाइव फोर राइट फोर के जिस फिल्ड एंड वी गेट फाइव रुपीज प्रॉफिट सो वी नीड टू गेट मोर प्रॉफिट अगेन फोर्थ वन जीरो वन वन टू यू हैव टेकन वन वन मीन्स दिस टू प्लस फाइव सेवन रुपीज प्रॉफिट वी गेट टू प्लस फाइव सेवन रुपीज प्रॉफिट एंड थ्री प्लस फोर सेवन के जिस बैग फील्ड Actually, this cannot be happen because the maximum capacity of the bag is six kgs. So we cannot fill this. So this is not happen. This is wrong. Probability of eight out of this eight, this cannot be happen because the maximum capacity of the bag is six kgs. So this is seven total weight here. Seven. This cannot be happen. Here one zero zero. Next fifth probability. We have two power three probabilities, eight probabilities. When we have three objects and two probability, two power three, eight probabilities we can fill. Bag can be filled in eight ways. Out of this eight ways, which one will get more profit? That we will be taking. Maximization problem, dynamic program. So fifth one, <coughs> one zero zero. One means this one. Two cases of the bag filled. Two cases. And one rupee we will get very less. One rupee profit we will get two cases of the bag filled. And here one zero one. Here this one plus five six rupees. This is also over. This is not taken. Six rupees we will get and two plus four six cases. Two plus four. Six cases of the bag filled. Maximum capacity is filled, and we got six rupees. So this we will be taking. Then similarly, one one zero, one one zero, means one one. This two we have taken. One plus two, three rupees. That is drawn here. And two plus three, five. Five cases of the bag filled, but here we are getting less profit. Three. So that is not taking. One one one. We have taken all the objects. Means one plus two plus five. Eight rupees we got. Eight rupees. Three rupees. But we are not taking this. And here two plus three plus four. Seven plus two nine. Nine kgs. This is also not possible. Nine kgs because the maximum capacity bag is six. Right. So here this is the answer. Sixth one is the answer. So we filled the six cases of the bag and we got six rupees. So this two we are filling this and this one zero one is the answer for this. So this is the maximization problem. Zero by one means we can take zero objects, none of the objects, and we can take complete objects. Right? All the best for your exam.